In this video, I'm going to walk you through exactly how I invest in my Roth IRA with my own money using my favorite investing platform, M1 Finance. So this video is a lot more tactical. So I'm gonna get you into kind of my brain and explain to you why am I picking these certain investments for my retirement? Why am I not picking these investments? How am I thinking about it when I go to invest my money? And the whole thought process and philosophy that I have when it comes to investing for retirement. So I hope you check out this whole video because it is jam-packed with so much value that I think is going to help you. And I think it's it's always helpful to get an idea of what someone else is doing. What are they doing with their own money? Okay, they're talking about it on all these videos, but I want to see what they're actually doing. Well, I'm going to show you what I am doing with my money. Just a little disclaimer, I am not telling you what to do with your money. This is just what I'm doing with my money. If you need some help, please talk to a professional or do your own research. Make sure to Hulk smash that thumbs up button. And if you figure that you like M1 Finance and you want to use that investing platform, with your with your Roth IRA, then please use the link down in the description to sign up. It is an affiliate link. It helps support myself in this channel. Um, it is no extra cost to you, but if you like me, I'd appreciate it. If not, not a big deal. I'm still going to make these videos just for you because you're awesome. First, want to mention if you haven't checked out my M1 Finance review video, I highly recommend checking that out. If you have any questions when it comes to how to start thinking through or start investing in a Roth IRA, just the initial thought process you need to go through, I also have another video out about that as well. Um, so let's go ahead and get started on showing you the more tactical thing. So how I actually look for the funds and invest in my Roth IRA with my favorite investing platform, M1 Finance. So here's the initial screen, and I have to create a pie for my Roth IRA. So I do have something in there, a slice. It's the Vanguard Real Estate Fund, uh, VNQ. Ignore that right now, it's just a placeholder because I had to put something in there. I am not going to invest in VNQ within my Roth IRA. One of the things I like about my Roth IRA or M1 Finance is that you can toggle back and forth between the different investment accounts that you have with M1 Finance. So in this case, I have a Roth IRA account, which I'm in right now. And then I also have two individual taxable accounts also. Um, so if I really wanted to go check out those other accounts, I could hop into those really fast. It's a really cool feature that I just wanted to mention real quick. I need to fill up my pie with the investments that I want to go in with it, go within my Roth IRA. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to research. Now under research, you've got these tabs up top here. You've got stocks, you've got funds, you've got expert pies, and then a watch list. Now stocks, all you do is click on it and you've got a list of all kinds of stocks. They, have, they offer over 6,000 stocks that you can invest in. Um, if you can't find what you're looking for on this list initially, you can always search for the symbol, uh, whatever you want. Um, we'll say Textron. That's a stock that I know off the top of my head. You can go in there, find it, and you can add it to your portfolio or you can add it to your watch list, which we'll talk about watch lists here in a minute. Okay, so the next they have funds. So these are all the ETFs that they offer for you to invest in right here uh, once again you can click through these pages and look for for whatever you're looking for or you can go ahead and search for uh, whatever symbol it is or name um, they also have the expert pies which if you watch my review video then you know about these it's one of my favorite features of m1 finance i have a lot of favorite features when it comes to m1 finance because they do a lot of things right for people like us, the average investor. But they do have the, these expert pies, and I highly recommend if you open up open up a, an account with M1 Finance, please go into the expert pies and just dig around, kind of get a feel for what are they offering. These expert pies are all based on a higher level goal that you want um, your money to be invested in, and they will pick, they will automatically pick the kinds of investments that you will go in based on the higher level goal that you have. So definitely go in here and poke around a little bit. Let's go ahead and get into actually picking my investments for my Roth IRA. So let me go pick out my funds. Now, before I get in to show you what I invest in, um, these are my thoughts, my opinions. I'm not advising you what to invest in. This is just what I do. Let me first say that I don't need any of this retirement money for 30 years. So I am a buy and hold investor when it comes to my retirement accounts. I want to invest in low cost index funds. Now there's two that I personally like, the ETF versions. I like VOO and I like VTI. But in this case, I am investing my Roth IRA money into VTI. So in this case, I'm going to go to VTI. And instead of adding it to my portfolio right now, I'm going to add it to a watch list. 
Okay, so I haven't actually added it to my portfolio at this point, point in time. I'm going to go back to funds, and I still want to add VOO because I like them. I still want to watch them, so I'm going to add them to my watch list. Now I'm going to also look for a bond. So I've already done my research, and I'm going to, and I know what bond I want to add in there. It's BND, the Vanguard Total Bond Market. So I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to go to watch. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my watch list, and I am going to start adding these investments to my pies. Now, let me stop right here and show you as you're kind of looking for the different possible index funds that you want to add to your retirement account. What you can do with M1 Finance that's cool is they you click on the um, symbol. So in the watch list, I clicked on VTI and it gives you all the lists, all the things that you need to know about VTI. So, for example, it's one hundred and fifty dollars per share. Uh, 0 0.03 expense ratio it gives you the dividend yield. It kind of gives you the performance over the past couple months, years, um, and it also tells you what the payout was for the individual dividends. It also tells you how many holdings that VTI has. So it's over 3,500. So it's trying to mimic the total stock market. It's trying to give you the same performance as the S&P 500 and then some because the S&P 500 is only 500 stocks. Now they will also tell you uh, what the allocation is. Um, so as you can see, there's not really anything in bonds here. So if you want to invest in bonds as well, then you got to do that on your own. And that's why you saw that I added that, that bond index fund to, um, to my watch list. And we'll get into to that here in a minute and how much I'm going to put in there. But one thing I want to show you is, so within VTI, it shows you the top holdings here. Now, they, M1 Finance only shows you the two biggest holdings, but if you want to get an idea of what is actually in VTI, this is what I recommend doing. I highlight VTI here, just do a right click and search Google for VTI. Now when this pops up, I highly recommend, since this is a Vanguard fund, I highly recommend just looking at the Vanguard website for VTI. So we can click on that, and then we can get an idea of what are all the companies that are within the VTI index fund. Um, we can click on the portfolio and management and this is going to show us it's going to give us more detail than m1 finance is uh, on this vti total stock market index fund right so it gives you the uh, different equity um, sector diversification so it gives you the amount or how it's broken down when it comes to tech you know uh, healthcare, financials so it gives you that idea but if you want to go one level deeper and say hey what are all the companies that vti has has within um within it so we'll go down here sorry i'm scrolling really fast you click portfolio holdings as you can see they hold over 3500 stocks within vti which that's a lot, and it lists the different holdings from the largest amount to smallest. So as you can see, um, they're holding the largest amount in of VTI is is Microsoft, then Apple, then Amazon. A lot of companies that you recognize because they're they're larger companies, they're they're very stable companies. But you can literally go through the list of all 3,500 of these. Which as you keep going further and further, you might start to see. Uh, names of companies that you don't recognize, like Willis Towers Watson. I don't know what that is, but they own some money in it. Um, and you can always look that company up if you really want to. Okay, so that's if you want to get an idea of what all is in VTI. So let's go back to M1 Finance, and let's go ahead and add the VTI, add VTI to my portfolio. So I'm going to add it to my Roth IRA. Okay. Okay. So it starts to build my pie, if you will. Like I said, I, I had the Vanguard Real Estate Fund in there that was just a placeholder. So I'm going to delete that out right now. Now, I'm not going to choose my allocation at this point yet. I'm going to next add a bond in there. So I'm going to add it. And if you remember, I did add it to my watch list so I can find it really quickly. So I click on BND. I add it to my basket. Now, here's the allocation that I'm doing. I'm doing a 95 5 allocation. So as I said, I don't need this money for 30 years. So I want to have my money uh, exposed in the stock market because that's going to give it the most potential to grow if it is. So that's why I'm going very heavy within VTI, 95% of my money, because I'm okay to handle the ups and downs in the short term. 
Um, now, I know some people who aren't going to retire for another 30 years or need their retirement money for another 30 years who are actually 100% in one thing, right? Whether it's VTI or VOO. Personally, I just want to throw 5% in a bond just because, I don't know, it makes me feel safer. It's going to be personally up to you. And that is one thing that I talk about in my Roth IRA video that I help you think th and I help you think through the allocation. I might even change this, who knows, in a year. I might change it to 100% VTI. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So this is my pie for my Roth IRA at this point in time. So I'm going to save this pie. Confirm. Okay, there it is. Now, as you can see, I already have $1,000 in cash in my Roth IRA account here. But I'm not going to invest all $1,000. So I personally use dollar cost averaging to invest my money. So... $6,000 per year for my Roth IRA is the max. 6,000 divided by 12 is $500 per month. The first couple months of the year, I, I did invest directly through the Vanguard website until I found M1 Finance and tested them out. Now I'm going to start putting all of my Roth IRA money. I'm going to invest it through M1 Finance because I love them that much. Um, so I threw in initial $1,000, but I'm going to actually only invest 500 of that $1,000. So I already have my my pie, my portfolio created here. So I'm going to go ahead and buy. This is where I get to choose how much I'm going to invest. So available for orders, the $1,000. I invest $500 at a time. Continue. And then they will fulfill my order tomorrow. So if you want to learn more about uh, how often they fulfill orders that you place or... Uh, uh, I guess trades, if you will, then you can always read about it a little bit more. I do touch about touch on it within that uh, M1 Finance review. If you wanna wanna see me talk about that, so I'm gonna confirm. Okay, now what's cool is now I I basically set up a trade to be placed tomorrow. Uh, so you want to know when it's going to be placed. I can go to here here to your portfolio has estimated trades. So I click on that and it tells me the next trading window is in 13 hours. Exactly. That's kind of cool. And it has a breakdown. Of that $500, 475 is going to be uh, VTI and $25 is going to be put towards BND. Uh, once again, M1 Finance has fractional shares so i don't have to buy full shares they're going to buy the exact amount i need to for this 475 dollars which is amazing i love it now one thing i'm not going to show you or so i'm basically set up it's going to auto invest it tomorrow while i'm at work i don't have to worry about it um, now one thing i want to mention is some people will say the stock market is really high right now jared you shouldn't be investing i don't care um, the reason I don't care is, as I said, I'm a long-term investor. I don't need this money for 30 years. And because I don't need it for 30 years, I don't care what the price of VTI is or BND within a 24-hour period. I don't care how it changes. Now, now, would I invest huge amounts of money right now? Probably not. Um, because the stock market is at an all-time high. I don't know what it's going to do, but $500 isn't, isn't going to make and break me, make or break me, um, Remember, time in the market is more important than timing the market. So one thing I'm not going to show you is that from here on out, I am going to set up an auto investment into M1 Finance. So it automatically invests $500 for me every single month. So we'll automatically withdraw it from my bank account, put into my M1 Finance account, my M1 Finance Roth IRA account, and it's going to automatically invest it for me because I don't trust myself. I will look at the stock market and... Based on if it's up or down, I'm afraid that that's going to determine whether I buy um, buy shares within my Roth IRA. I don't like that. I'm a human. I know that I just want to get the perfect price, but I know how bad of a thought process that is. So I would rather have M1 Finance automatically do it for me because time in the market is better than timing the market. Don't try to time the market. Just forget about it. If it's your retirement money and you don't need it for 20 or 30 years, just forget what the price is. Put your money in consistently. Consistency is the key. Because if you sit there and wait around for the perfect price, you're going to be waiting around forever. Because it can, it can always go lower. And it's just like gambling, right? You keep playing when you're up because you're up. Why not? And the next thing you know, you lose all your money. And like you're like, oh, why didn't I quit when I was up? 
Well, because you were feeling really high. In this case, you're going to be trying to play the stock market and wait until, oh, okay, it's at $150 per share right now. Let me wait till it gets to, to $140. And then it hits that $140 per share. And you're like, you know what? It's gotten down to $140. It could probably go a little bit lower. So you wait to buy. And next thing you know, it goes from $140 back up to $150. And you're like, oh, okay, I'm still going to stay out because it went, went up above my $140. Eventually, you're never going to invest. So I highly recommend opening up, opening up an M1 Finance account, set up the auto invest, let them take care of it for you. That's it.